All right, now we're gonna we're gonna switch gears a little bit, and we're gonna start moving into some of the uh, the deeper and perhaps some of the slightly more unpleasant parts of her uh, later life. It is true. Uh, this is widely known on the internet that in the uh, some point in the early 2000s, um, her mother, who, uh, name was Pamela McComas, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, um, she uh, developed cancer, and uh, at one point later on became uh, bed stricken. And this um, had a, a very direct effect on Larissa's career. She was very close to her. And if you want to elaborate a bit on, on all of that, uh, please feel free. Yes, sir. And, and you're, abso you're absolutely right, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. the, um, even when Larissa was on set, it was very common uh, mm -hmm. for, you know, Larissa, on, when as soon as the director yelled cut, she would call her mom, her mom would call her. Mm -hmm. uh, they were, they really were, they were best friends. Uh, Larissa would always say it was, uh, her mom was her mother, her best friend, her sister, she was her confident. Mm -hmm. And when her mother became ill, it did, it affected Larissa, uh, very much so. Uh, while her mother was in remission, I can honestly say, that I personally believe that Larissa was working so hard uh, because she wanted uh, her parents to be proud of her, and they were. Very much so. Mm -hmm. Later, when her mother's health uh, began to decline, uh, it did have a direct effect on on Larissa's uh, well-being because it it she wasn't ready to live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was actually a part in one of the movies that she did. It was called Extreme Limits. Uh, she had a part with uh, Treat Williams and a couple other fairly big names from uh, several years back. And she actually spoke um, about, you know, a fictional uh, version of her mother uh, passing on. And I don't think it had happened at that point. And that particular performance was very, very genuine and came across as genuine, I think, because there was probably a large element of truth in her own life that came across in that. And again, that's very perceptive of you. You're mm -hmm. absolutely correct. Uh, that was another Jim Lewarski film. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, one of my favorites. Yeah. The uh, and she was she was reflecting a lot of what she was going through uh, personally at that time. And uh, but yeah, it's very perceptive on your part to pick that up because she did draw from mm -hmm. her own life for that one. Yeah. Now, after uh, her mother had passed, I believe it was earlier in 2001. Was uh, what was the exact month? Uh, do you remember? I. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I believe, of course, uh, I want to say it was very close to the first of the year. I want to say it was around uh, January. January. Mm -hmm. uh, somewhere about in that area. Mm -hmm. uh, I was notified. Uh, they sent me an email. I, I could not go there and be with her during that time. Uh, and it was during that time that she uh, had a nervous breakdown. And I apologize uh, for that. It actually wasn't around that time. It was around May or June of 2001. My, I'm so sorry. It was around the first of the year that her, remi uh, her remission really took over. Okay, so it was, a, it was, she slipped, she lapsed back in, and we're talking probably middle of 2001, May or June, that uh, she, she went, okay, gotcha. Yeah, sure. yeah uh, I was thinking about it at that time, because her health took a dramatic turn for the worse uh, the first of the year, and mm -hmm. continued on to about the middle of the year gotcha. of 2001, and uh, she was, uh, she was home, mm -hmm. uh, bed ridden during that time, and Larissa pretty much retired uh, from L.A. and went out there and stayed pretty much close to home. But seeing her mother in that condition really uh, affected her emotionally. 